It is time to once again talk about Google's attempt to make a functional desktop mode inside Android, something that would compete with Samsung's DeX or Motorola's Ready For. You may remember back in March, I wrote an article and also made a companion video kind of going over the history of Android's desktop mode. The fact of the matter is, it's been around for a long time, all the way back in 2019 with Android 10, but it's been basically useless to the end user. It was intended to be used by developers as a way to test their apps and really nothing more than that. Samsung and Motorola, these other companies have sort of built off of it and made their own functional desktop mode, but for whatever reason, it's taken Google a really, really long time to make this a thing. It took all the way until March of 2024 for Google to allow us to take our modern Pixel phones, plug it into an external monitor, and actually have that image be mirrored on the external screen. That is a pretty big prerequisite for what we're talking about. The way that these desktop mode things work is you plug your phone into a monitor, maybe you pair a wireless Bluetooth and keyboard, your phone should stay operational, doing whatever it is you need to do on your phone, but on that monitor, you have a desktop user interface that you can have windowed applications that can be drug around and minimized and maximized and yeah, like a true desktop. So video out was a prerequisite that we needed and they finally did that. But things really took a step into, I think, the right direction with an Android 14 beta. I'll play a little bit of this video from Android Authority and you can see exactly what we're talking about here. This is that desktop mode. They have some icons on sort of a home screen, but Firefox here is, it's not maximized, right? It's in a window and he's resizing it and he's moving it around. He's also able to launch multiple applications and move these, th these uh, windows around as well. But of course, it's missing some really basic things that you need from a desktop. You really need a taskbar. Okay, look at any desktop UI. You've got some kind of a taskbar, a place for your applications to minimize to perhaps, a place to quickly launch applications from. And that brings us to the article just posted 21 short hours ago on Android Authority. Once again, Michelle Rahman. Headline, Google is finally building its own Dex. First look at Android's desktop mode. This is something that he was able to enable inside Android 16 beta number four. Now it's doubtful that this is going to be there when Android 16 is released publicly. It'll probably come in a later quarterly platform release. I do also want to, as usual, highly encourage you, go click the link in the description, go to this article and watch it yourself. There actually is a video associated with this article, which is very interesting. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the images just to give you a reason to go watch Michelle's video instead. What you can see here in this image is a window in a windowed form. It's not maximized, right? But you also do have that task bar down there at the bottom. And it looks very, very similar to the task bar you have on Pixel devices. If it is in the pinned configuration. You can see the little shortcut to your app drawer on the left. You have your pinned applications in the middle, and then you have the recently opened applications on the right hand side. You can tap on one of these icons to launch that app in a windowed mode. Now, unlike something like on your Pixel Fold or Pixel Tablet, where that's obviously going to launch the app in full screen, you can drag a second app up to split screen. This looks like it might be defaulting into that windowed mode. You can then click on the this little maximize button, just like on your Windows PC or whatever you might be using to go into a more full screen view. Unlike on some Pixel devices, that app drawer that you click on is pretty much full screen. This does kind of remind me a little bit of Chrome OS as well in a lot of ways. Maybe you're seeing those same similarities on this next screen here, this next image. You can see the notification shade and quick settings pull down. This is straight off of standard Android, a Pixel device with your quick settings on the left and your notifications on the right. Although it does appear as though Michelle still does have some of these visual overhaul changes enabled as well. We talked about that in a prior video. That's why things kind of have this transparent frosted glass look. I think that this looks pretty solid. And a lot of things about this do seem to work. Now there are some rough edges. When you watch Michelle's video and he launches an app off the taskbar, there are some weird UI things that happen that definitely will be cleaned up. But by and large, 
this does seem like it works pretty well. The window management is mostly in place. You can drag an app to one side and have it sort of snap into a snap layout like you can on Windows. You can drag content from one app to the other if the app actually does support that. And all the while, as you can see here, his phone is just unoccupied. It's sitting there. You could use it for other things while these other things are going on in the desktop mode. We are finally making some real real progress towards a true DeX competitor that's just built into Android. I think it's also worth pointing out that Google has something very similar to this that they have already launched specifically on the Pixel tablet. You have this ability now to click on this little handle at the top of each application and drag it down and the Pixel tablet will transition into a desktop mode, which is very, very similar to what we are seeing here. Personally, I really hope that this makes its way to other Android tablets, or even if we're really lucky, maybe something like this could come to the Pixel Folds as well, running locally on the actual phone, not on an external display, because I think that it looks very, very good. It's interesting that after years of letting their desktop mode just sit there, they've now launched something that looks really good for Pixel tablets. They're readying something that's going to work on your phone on an external display, and maybe all of this plays in with the rumors that Chrome OS and Android could sort of be combined in a sense where future Chromebooks might just be running Android with a version of this desktop environment. Definitely very strange times that we are in and perhaps stranger times ahead. Guys, once again, do click that link in the description to see this article and watch Michal's video where he's going to demo quite a bit more about the functionality of this. Hit those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. How exciting is this for you? Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.